Barbara. A couple of high-profile legal cases have thrust Indiana's criminal justice system into the spotlight. This week we learned the state will not appeal the Indiana Court of Appeals decision to overturn the conviction of Pervy Patel. Now, she is the only Indiana woman charged with feticide for ending her own pregnancy. A judge will resentence Patel on the only remaining conviction, a Class D felony for neglect of a dependent. Now that carries a maximum of three years in prison, but with credit for time served and good behavior, Patel will be released no later than the end of September. So joining us now is a professor at criminal law, a professor of criminal law at Indiana University's Maurer School of Law, Ryan Scott. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. You know, we've all heard that term good behavior before, but is this a standard procedure in a case like Patel's? Yes, it's standard for all prisoners in Indiana prisons, and really all states have a system something like this. It's an incentive for prisoners to avoid disciplinary infractions and otherwise comport themselves well while in prison. One difference is that for many years, Indiana's discount for good behavior was a lot larger than most states. It was 50% for most felonies. So uh, for every day served in prison, you'd receive credit for another day in prison. And that remains the rule for low-level felonies, like the only remaining felony, as you say, for which Ms. Patel was convicted. So for the lowest level of felons in, in Indiana, it's still essentially a 50% discount for good time in prison. So when judges, though, give a sentence, do they take all that into consideration? So they're certainly aware of the system of good time credits, that's right, and they're free to do so, although nothing in Indiana law either requires judges to adjust sentences based on good time or prohibits them from doing so. So I suspect that different judges have different intuitions about how the existence of a good time system like that ought to affect the, the sentence or not. But you know, this really seems like a, a different on how the public would understand a sentence. Is that a concern? Uh, it is, and actually one of the uh, impetuses behind the change to Indiana law a couple years ago, uh, the 50% discount has been changed. Now it's a 75% of the sentence will be served for most felonies, uh, including murder. Uh, and part of the rationale is it, this goes uh, by the, uh, under the banner truth in sentencing. It's a, a line of argument that's been around for decades. It's part of the reason that many states, including Indiana, have abolished traditional parole, where a person could be sentenced to 40 years in prison, and then after six years, a parole board concludes that they've been rehabilitated and they're released. Uh, the idea is that there's something uh, deceptive about a judge formally announcing a sentence of 40 years and the actual sentence served will be something much less than that. And so this change to make the discount uh, lower, and in Indiana's is still uh, a, a greater discount than a lot of states have. In the federal system, it's a 10% discount for good yeah. behavior. I wanted to bring up really quick uh, before we go, the other high-profile sentencing case was Daniel Messel, who was convicted of, ki of killing IU student Hannah Wilson. How would good behavior impact his sentence, do you think? Well. Again, he'll be entitled to uh, a discount of up to 25% for good behavior, but in his case, the sentence uh, carries a minimum of 45 years of imprisonment, plus another 20 years for being a habitual offender. Even after that's discounted, he's looking at uh, 50 years unsuspendable actual serve time. For a defendant like him who's already 51 years old, uh, that's effectively a life sentence, even if the judge chooses uh, the most lenient sentence possible, which is unlikely given the horrible, uh, brutal circumstances of that offense yeah, in any event. Yeah. Very interesting. Thanks so much for your insight and for being here today. Appreciate Thanks. it.